Hey there. For a long time, I have been wondering about real-time operating systems. I've been familiar with the concept that they're out there. Uh, I understand the main principle that when you're on like your notepad computer, if you double click on the web browser and it takes a few extra seconds to load up, it may be frustrating, but you live with it. Uh, and that's a regular operating system. A real-time operating system is one that is guaranteed to do something in real time. It's controlling a real-world thing, maybe an airplane or a medical piece of medical equipment uh, or an industrial controller. If you've got a conveyor belt with something racing down the line at 50 miles an hour, you can't afford for the operating system to miss a, miss a signal. The sensor saying, hey, something's coming down, we've got to do something about it. That's why real-time operating systems were developed. Until now, I've never really found anything that would tell me about them. There's very little out there that explains what real-time operating systems are and how they work. Until I ran across this book here by Jean Lebros. Uh, it's Micro C OS 3, uh, and it's absolutely brilliant. This is a fantastic book. The story behind this is also pretty interesting. Uh, Jean was a young engineer back in the early 90s. The company he was working for gave him a project which was to uh, use a real-time operating system to control an engine. So he went out and looked at what, what was out there on the market. Uh, there was a cheap and cheerful RTOS available, uh, or there was a much more expensive one. And thinking of money in mind, he went for the cheap and cheerful one and got burnt. The thing just did not work. You know, it didn't work as spec, nothing, it was a nightmare. So after months of effort, he bit the bullet and said, well, let's throw that away, let's go for the more expensive one. Initially, the more expensive one worked the way it should do, straight out of the box, everything was ticking along nicely, and then he discovered a bug in that kernel. He called the company up, uh, and they said, oh, your 90 days warranty's over. <laughs> We're not going to support you unless you pay warranty. So he had to pay a big chunk of warranty. Now he's on warranty. It took them six more months to fix the bug. You can't afford to be doing this when you're trying to create commercial grade products. So a man after my own heart, he went off and wrote his own RTOS. And that would have been the Micro C OS 1, except it wasn't called OS 1 at the time, just OS. Uh, it took the world by storm. It was very, very successful. He wrote a book about it. Uh, people started using it. Later on in the 90s, he came out with Micro C OS 2. Uh, this is, Micro C OS 2 is commercial grade. This is the stuff that you use for mission critical applications. It's certified by the FAA, by medical bodies. You can use it in aircraft. You can use it for medical appliances. You can use it for factory controllers. Uh, is certified to the ground and now literally within the last couple of months is brought out micro c os3 uh, if you are designing a mission critical application you need to keep on using os2 at the moment os3 has got the certifications applied for but it takes some time to run through the mill so stick with the one that is certified uh, but read this book anyway because this tells you how to port from one to the other uh, and what you might do is to write your applications in such a way as to make them easy to port. This book is actually two books in one. The first half of the book explains all about real-time operating systems. Uh, it tells you all about event scheduling, task management, memory management, uh, all the other things that you need to know to create a robust uh, application that runs under the RTOS. And then the second half of the book, well, not the second half, there's a second book in here. Uh, this book comes equipped with this evaluation board, the Micro C Eval uh, STM 32F107, bit of a mouthful there, uh, evaluation board, and a USB cable. The board itself was created by ST Microelectronics. Uh, it's got an ST. Uh, M32F10C microcontroller on board. Um, this is based on the ARM Cortex M3 CPU, but it's got a raft of extra things. It's got a 10 stroke, let me hold this up to the camera, it's got a 10 stroke 100 uh, Ethernet Mac, it's got uh, a USB on the go controller, it's got CAN, it's got U uh, UARTs, 
we've got uh, an SD memory card, so you can plug in uh, a big memory card. Of course, the operating system's got its own file management and everything. Uh, the microcontroller itself has got 256 kilobytes of flash, on, on chip flash, 64 kilobits, kilobytes of on chip RAM. Uh, so, this is everything that you need to play around with. The board itself is powered through the USB cable from your computer. You can download a complete evaluation system for free that includes the C compiler, assembler, linker, loader, debugger. Uh, the micro C probe debugger that lets you see all the real-time variables inside the microcontroller. Uh, and this is just a brilliant combo. I, like I said, I've spent the last few days reading the book and now I'm poised to start creating my first RTOS application. And I'm actually pretty jolly excited about it all. So if you want to learn about RTOSs, uh, this book, micro C OS3, uh, along with the ST Microelectronics uh, Development Board is absolutely the bee's knees. Totally recommend it.